that's 25 years ago. We were all just kids and we were trying to learn how, we, we expected to be awesome, but we had to do something. So that's what we did. In this episode of Fireside Chat, the team at Purple Wave takes a look back at the unique challenges they faced in the early days, highlighting the hard work and unconventional strategies that helped them build the business. I think it'd be fair to say in our early days, we were doing a lot of hard work cleaning things up and you know, we were working in, in assets that were less valuable, where we were providing a service and some of it, I mean, unfortunately it was trash service, as, I mean, as bad as it sounds, it was. But we learned a lot, it gave us a chance to go do things. And Sometimes I think maybe people translate that into where we're at now. That's 25 years ago. We were all just kids and we were trying to learn how, we, we expected to be awesome, but we had to do something. So that's what we did. I'm smiling because when you say we were a trash service, I'm, I'm remembering personally a, an auction at Purple Wave 1, you know, at 104 Leavenworth down there, uh, a, an auction of a computer shop. And that was at the time what I was brought aboard to do, and we can talk about my origin story later, but uh, I was really interested in computers, and there was a lot of old TRS-80 kind of old, and, and, and these were old in 2001 when we were doing this auction. But I remember having the trash truck pulled up and we couldn't get a dollar on a computer and Aaron's orders to the crew was you throw it out there and you make sure it's broken and the crowd can hear that it is broken because if they think there's an opportunity to buy this stuff after the auction, they're not going to bid at all. And so there was a lot of, that was the order, was to make it loud when we can't get a bid on something. And You've make always sure been a destroyed. creative thinker. <laughs> and that, that to me, as, as you know, I'm, I'm a bit of a pack rat for things like music equipment and old computers, and I was like, oh no, you can't just break those old TRS-80s that aren't worth anything. So I said, buy them, and you did. So you had an apartment full of them. I might have had an apartment full of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not above making a pack river buy an asset. Oh, I, I, I know this vividly. Um, Success leaves clues. <laughs> yes. There's not many auctioneers on the planet that would instruct their workforce to uh, start throwing stuff away in front of the public. And make sure it's loud while <laughs> you're sure doing it. Make sure it's loud. <laughs> it's glassware. Make that, sure it breaks. That's a, that's a testament to uh, Aaron's uh, out-of-box thinking. <laughs> Apparently it worked. 